Former atomic energy workers say they want to correct an injustice. Workers exposed to radiation at nuclear accidents in the 1950s want the same compensation military personnel received for the same work. This is their story. A piece of natural uranium fuel rod caught fire after it was removed from the reactor. But as soon as I heard the alarm, Al Donahue was at Atomic Energy the day the reactor ruptured in 1958. He and his colleague George Kiley helped with the cleanup. They knew they would be exposed to radiation, but they volunteered anyway. I was a rookie two years there, you know, so I said, uh, I'll go. So I went over and uh, the guys dressed me up, you know, for protection, put pencils on me to read the radiation. And they explained to me, like, what's going to go on. You're going to have a long vacuum tube. And we've sprayed in there, so these little particles are going to look like little uh, uh, pellets. And the idea is to try and pick up as many of those pellets as you can. Signs warn workers that they can remain only a few minutes without danger from radiation. Ten minutes inside the hazard zone was all that was allowed. And once all willing Atomic Energy staff members had done their 10 minutes, they needed to call in support. I was back in my building when the military appeared on the scene. Canadian Forces members arrived from Petawawa to help out. In 2009, Canadian Forces members exposed to radiation decades before were given compensation. This included those who had helped out at Atomic Energy in the 1950s. But the program did not extend to atomic energy staffers, including Donahue and Kylie. I had done it and knew what was involved. I couldn't understand how they could reason to pay somebody $24,000 for 10 minutes work. We took the greatest risk. They were awarded the prize. We were ignored. Former Atomic Energy workers and friends started a campaign several years ago. They wrote to politicians. They got one response. Last year, Senator Céline Hervieux Payette prepared a report. Then she put forward a Senate motion calling for these atomic energy workers to be compensated. There is no reason uh, why one group would be compensated and the other group would not be. Senator Payette has now retired. The responsibility now sits with Natural Resources Canada, the department responsible for atomic energy. The men hope someone in government will hear them. The money is not really the part, it's equality, you know. While they wait for answers from the government, their numbers dwindle. Among the former atomic energy staffers who were there in 1958, only a few dozen are still alive.